What up gamers, welcome back to Gamers Bay, and today we're going to take a look at an old school whack-a-mole themed arcade game called The First Funky Fighter. So this was published by Taito back in the early 1990s, I think it was 1992, 1993-ish that this game hit arcades. And so it's a whack-a-mole game, but it was with a digital screen. And the way that the arcade cabinet works is that you had nine buttons that you would press to correspond with the slashes on the screen. You can see in this this first stage that we're playing, we're battling it out against these like sharks and mermaids and just really weird sea creatures. Um, and then one other stage in the game, the other theme is crocodiles that you battle it out against. And so it's kind of a bloody game. Uh, I don't think it's super gory, but it's, there's definitely some blood in it. Uh, there's like a serpent here. This is one of the um, the tough the tough uh, bosses to take out. On the normal and the hard modes, it's, it feels almost impossible to get those serpents. It's really really tough. Um, really really strange creatures in this game. Uh, in another stage, there's tribesmen and there's even skeletons. Really bizarre stuff. So the theme of the game is that your girlfriend has been kidnapped by evil sharks and you have to fight to save her and so these end bosses you can see here the shark you punch the sharks to kill them it's just really really bizarre and there's one other shark after this and by the way the original arcade cabinet was a two-player cab and so we're gonna go through both players in each stage in each round um, but it was just a fun game to play. It was really cool. I thought the graphics were really great, especially for the time, being that, you know, video games, arcade games were still very primitive back in the early 1990s. And uh, this is really interesting to see a whack-a-mole game like this. Slashing knives, punching enemies, and so forth just really, really strange some of the sharks some of the enemies are real easy to take out you can see some sharks you can just slash them once and they're dead other ones you have to slash them like five or ten times to take them out but this serpent the sea serpent is just crazy he's not so hard to get right here but later on like on the hard mode it's just impossible to take him out and i was playing with a numpad in main and that was pretty tough. I can imagine it's even harder in the arcade because the buttons are so spread out on the original cabinets. And you can see there's these like starfish. Yeah, there's bombs. That barrel that I just hit, that explodes everything on the screen. And so, in just a minute here, you're going to get to see the bonus round. Which is really kind of interesting. So, we're about to kill Jaws. We're gonna take him out, and Jaws is dead. Of course, there's one more. Now we're gonna fight Super Jaws. <laughs> he rips him in half. And so, I think that's the end of the first stage. And now we're gonna do the bonus around the Rock Smash. And I had, I had, I've had some problems with this. It's. For some reason, yeah, it didn't come out this first time. But I'm going to do it again the next stage, uh, that rock smash. Sometimes when you hit the buttons, the meter does not move. And I think it's just a glitch in MAME with the game itself. And so now we're going to go on to check out the crocodiles in the second stage, which is actually harder. I thought the, the uh, shark stages are a little bit easier. The crocodile stages are definitely tougher. So let's check out the crocs. Trying to get that, that flying crocodile, that is placed, that is put in place of that sea serpent that flashed around the screen. He is really tough to get in this stage. He's not easy to catch. There's those tribesmen I was telling you about. 
So it's really good graphics, you know. It looks like uh, it would, this would fall in line. We have like maybe 24-bit style graphics. They were really good. No question about it. Yeah, this guy is not easy to take out. He's, he's really tough. Managed to get him, but a lot of times I don't. There's spiders in here. That's another really bizarre thing. Um, there's another one of those bombs. That one was a crate. The last one was a barrel. More spiders. More crocs. More of this tribesmen with the masks. And now, of course, you guessed it. There's the end boss is a croc that you gotta battle it out with. It's really weird you're punching him. Especially with the sharks, you know? Smack. Just a really uh, bizarre game. I think it was really intended just to be comical. They were obviously not intended to be serious about this, about the storyline at all. I really like the cutscenes with the alligators and the, uh, and the crocodiles. And you're going to see, once we get on to the normal modes, which we're going to get into the hard stages too, um, the normal mode is not too bad. It gets really, really busy, the stuff on the screen. Some of the end bosses get a little bit harder, um, but it's playable. The hard mode is just so ridiculous. There is so much stuff on the screen, even on the normal mode, there's so much stuff on the screen. It's just impossible to hit everything. And I did play this, the original game, in the arcades. Uh, it was pretty interesting. It was harder, I thought, in the arcade because the buttons are really wide and spread out. And here, playing with the numpad, you can just, uh, which is kind of squish your hands together to do it, but it was possible just to play that way. I wouldn't try to play this game with a controller, that's for sure. That would be almost impossible. lightning in the background and the characters look like something out of like Contra from Konami okay let's try this rock smash again let's see if we can get this this time see sometimes when you start to hit the buttons the meter will start to rise and other times uh, the meter just won't move and I don't know what the deal is I think it's just a glitch with the way that the game runs in MAME So it's nothing compelling. The, the bonus rounds, they're, they're kind of boring. It's just like, a, you know, they're just smashing rocks. But uh, the game itself is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun playing this game in the arcades back in the day. So now let's check out, uh, I guess, maybe the hard mode. Let's do crocodiles. We'll do normal mode with the sharks. Player one. So now you can see the screen is going to get super busy. There is so much stuff that pops up on the screen. Look at that. There's just stuff everywhere. And it's all widespread out. Warning. Now, the sea serpents get really tough. You can see he's just flying everywhere. It's just, oh, and I just got eaten. Ouch. Yeah, really tough to catch him on normal mode. And it gets even, it's like I said, it's, it's like just damn near impossible on hard to get him. The end bosses are themselves are not difficult to take out when you're doing the punching. Those are pretty simple. And 
here we go. Yeah, these guys are not that hard. Even on hard mode, they're pretty easy to take out. It's just getting those serpents to fly all over the screen. Or the flying crocodiles at that. Very fast, very, very fast paced. Turtles. There's another bomb. You see, he's just all over the screen. He's just impossible to get him. Crabs. Those purple sharks take a number of hits just to take out. Alright Jaws, you're going down. Bring it. There's blood coming out of his mouth. It's super Jaws. That's so awesome when he rips him apart. So anyways, that is the first Funky Fighter. Really, really interesting game. Um, I think we'll, we'll do one round, one round of the, uh, the hard mode, just so you can see just how crazy it is as soon as this loads. And then we'll get into the last stage. And we'll do the sharks and hard. Clear, one. That giant snake serpent thing. This just gets super crazy. And you can see this this just gets tough because this guy look at he's just everywhere. It's just impossible to catch him. You don't know where he's gonna go either. He goes in all these random directions. And of course he ate me. Mermaids. Seahorses. There's her bomb. Okay, so now is. Yeah. This, even on hard mode, it's not that hard to take them out with the punching. It's super easy. You just have to get enough hits in. You don't even have to aim. You're just you're just hitting the punch buttons. And he's ripped to shreds. Player two. So, anyways, that is the first funky fighter. Uh, definitely be sure to like and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest videos. We've been covering a lot of classic arcade games lately. Also, do check out Gamers Bay Community on Google+. 
there'll be a link below in the description. Um, you, if you have a gaming channel, you can post your videos in the Gamers Video Archive. You can also post to Gamers Bay your videos in there, but uh, we have a daily quota. It's better off to post them in the Gamers Video Archive community, and I'll include a link to that below in the description as well. So you can check that out. And so, like I said, we've been working on a lot of uh, classic arcade games. We've, we've done a lot of fighting games. We covered Primal Rage 2 and a bunch of others. Definitely worth checking out. So if you get a chance, go ahead and check out. They're all set up in a playlist. Um, most of our, our arcade titles. So anyways, I'll just uh, play out the end of this round. One more battle with the shark. 